What's up, champ? How you feeling? I'm very good. I'm very excited for because of the great out of boxing that we had tonight. That's good. What would you think about the fight tonight? I was impressed. You know, it was a good fight. Uh, all of them. You know, I enjoyed Castro's fight with Fulton. I enjoyed uh, Elizondi Lara. You know, I, I appreciate good boxing skills. Um, I'm a big fan of Danny as well. So it's always good to see Danny Garcia. Um, and then the main event. You know, the main event was was, was crazy. What would you think about uh, Clint and McCombie? Did you like that fight? <laughs> It was a great fight. I forgot about that one. Um, I could have stolen the show uh, earlier because uh, when Gumby came strong, he, you know, he sent, sent him to the canvas. He, um, he might have got him hurt and with that left hook that they didn't count as a knockdown. But you got to respect Kelly Plant. He's a, you know, he's, he's a warrior. He's a, has a, a great heart. You got to respect him for that. Also, what did you think overall, like, Can uh, Canelo's performance with Belanga? Did you expect it to go all 12 rounds? I, I did not expect it to go 12 rounds, especially after that brutal left hook. The sum to the canvas. I was more impressed on how Berlanga got up from that left hook. Um, but, you know, I take my head up for both fighters. Carnelo, you know, he obviously won very clear, you know, landing those big shots. And you know, it was very impressive also to see Berlanga take those shots. Oscar, si nos ayudas a analizar un poquito en español la pelea del 1 al 10, del 1 al 12, después de ese, te sorprendió, ya lo acabas de decir en inglés, que te sorprendió que se haya ido hasta los 12 asaltos. Sí, yo, yo pensé que, que iba a haber knockout, especialmente después de ese cruzado de izquierda que lo mandó la lona, estaba bien impresionado por ese tremendo golpe, lo festejé mucho y aún así estaba en transmisión, pero me sorprendió más aún que se haya levantado el Gaberlanda levantarse de ese golpe pues no fue nada fácil entonces se tiene que dar respeto que se merece el respeto ¿no? que es Edgar Berlanga por, por aguantar esa golpiza que le dio el Canelo Álvarez ¿Qué crees tú que le convendría a Canelo? Se habla de Vivol, se habla de eh, incluso de escoger a alguien ahí de otros de los clasificados de la 168 y la afición allá dice que todavía esperan que se dé esa pelea contra Benavides en algún momento Fíjate que pues, el Canelo está en la posición de escoger el rival que él quiera, ¿no? Como en algún momento lo fue de la olla, como en algún momento fue Flamengo Ver. Entonces, Canelo, me gustan los retos que ha tomado Canelo de, de su vida a las 170 y tantas de pelear con, con Vivol. Perdió, aún sabiendo que puedes dar lo mejor de él. Entonces, la revancha a mí no me desagrada, me gusta esa pelea. ¿Qué es la próxima ¿Para mí? ¿Qué es la próxima ¿Qué es la próxima We're going against. Uh, Vaquero and Avarata, we're going for the rematch December 7th, so we're getting ready for that one. Oscar, so given the performance that he gave tonight, Canelo, what was the next fights that you'd like to see? Obviously, I know you were talking about uh, the Bivol rematch that would be one. Obviously, the Benavides fight is still out there, but, but another fight that also people are talking about, maybe he's, maybe a last option for Canelo would be the proper fight. What do you think would be make more sense for his next fight? Um, either Benavides or Bivol. Mm -hmm. And I, I personally like Bivol because when I seen that fight, I saw how he trained. He wasn't 100% trained for that fight. And he lost, you know, he lost fair and square. Um, me hearing to him say that that he wasn't prepared, and he knows he can beat him, that gives me hope that, all right, you know, I know he can beat him. Uh, as a teammate, as a, as a friend, I know he can do it. I know he can pull it off. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna, it's gonna be tough, but he can pull it off. So um, I would like to see that, that fight again. Oscar, I've known you since 2012. You've been the highest level of boxing for so many years. What makes Saul Canelo Alvarez different than any other fighter in history? Um, his ring IQ, his confidence, his discipline, his his um, his boxing skills. It's it's a bit of everything combined. And one thing that I admire about Canelo, he has it all. You know, he's got he's got a beautiful family, a beautiful wife. He's got all the money. He's got businesses. He's got literally everything anyone could ask for. And he's still in the gym every single day. I bet you anything that by Monday he's back in the gym with the whole crew. So that's something that I always admire about Canelo. That you know he, Sorry, okay. he works makes, out hard. What makes Eddie Green also your coach? Such a great coach. Could you? He's a student. He's a student. He's always studying boxing. He's always you go to his house. He's watching boxing. He's watching old clips, new clips, my fights, everybody's fight. He's he's just studying, and he's he's working on you know, how to be a better trainer, just like a boxer would be training to be a better boxer. Now, Canelo's a very generous guy. He gives everyone gifts. What's the coolest gift Oscar Valdez got from Canelo, and what's the value? <laughs> well, uh, I got a horse from him, a uh, Frisian horse. That's the a beautiful horse. That's yeah, a beautiful horse. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite animals right now, and uh, it's worth. So it's, it's worth like, a lot. Uh, uh, it could be. It could be worth a lot. You know, it, the horses. It, you can't put a price on a horse. You know, and especially a, a gift like that. So. Um, that horse is, you know, it's, it's, it's probably worth more for me than, than 100,000. Was that his horse before? Or? That was his horse. And uh, now, that? And on the stadium, it's one of his favorite horses. That's what he told me. So, 
Yeah, it was cool. That, that horse, it's uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's uh, so it's a lot of maintenance, but it's beautiful. How did you end up in the gym with that? Um, you no, know, we, we know I'm known Canelo since we're little kids. You know, we're like 13, 13 years old. We know because of the nationals, you know, always know the the fighters. And that's how it all started, you know. And then you know we grew up, and uh, we're 17. We got to see each other again, and and so on. And then you know one thing comes from another. I get to meet Eddie, and then you know I got the call. You're a young veteran. You still look very young. You're feeling young. You're fresh. You're always training. Give me the three people you would love to fight. One, two, three. Three people. Back, uh, back Navarrete. What happens in that fight? In the I win. A rematch. Okay. A rematch. Well, I win this one. I'm more focused on this fight. Um, Consensado and Foster. What happened in the foster fight? Well, I gotta say I win all three of them because that's my that has the mentality. I can't come here and say I, I lose all three of them. And, uh, <laughs> I gotta win all of them. For all the Canelo fans watching, what's your message for them tonight after this impressive performance by Canelo? Uh, you know, Canelo fights for all you guys. He fights for Mexico. He's very really proud representative, and we all should be proud of him. We all should be proud of Mexico because we got a we got the champ. The face of boxing is a Mexican. So we should all be proud. We should all be united. And always say, you are Mexico. And last thing before I forget. So Canelo, you've known him 